Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm That Average Gamer, and we are back with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last episode, we made our way to Creepy Steeple, and we're going to do some exploring now. While I'm getting started, just a reminder, everybody, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to give it a like, comment, criticisms, anything. It helps the channel out. Be sure and subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications on future uh, future videos, and uh, yeah, let's sit back and relax. So that cookbook I just picked up is part of a, uh, it's a quest, one of the little side quest things that you can do. It's for uh, uh, Zesty, and by giving it to him, he can make more stuff. Alright, so there's quite a few things to do here. We're going to start with... I can't remember... There we go. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to get Flurry. There's quite a few items, and we're going to make... Oh, I think it's three total visits to this place. So, we might try and knock it out in three separate videos. Let's see, drop FP used when Mario attacks by one. Okay, how many badge points does that require? That requires four. I think I might save that for late, late game. But for now, we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna play some Mario. Okay, here's the box. We use Goombella. Cool. There's some angry looking booze. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out total? 200. Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See you, sucker. The only reason I know that is because I've played this a few different times. Someone should look at the video, use like slow-mo or something, tell me, were there really 200 of them? Are you going to be mean to me? Yes. Then go away. No. Promise? Come on out, guys. We're going to be mean to them. That's what we're going to do. Now we just kind of stand here, do this a few times. Cool. He who he. You said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. If we don't use the hammer, then they drag us out of the castle. It's kind of annoying. We have to be mean to him. Mega boo. All right, sub boss, can't flee. Goombella, let's paddle. That's an atomic boo. It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos. 40 hit points, four attacks, zero defense. This thing will try to smush us. It can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. I sure wouldn't want to see this thing standing behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy. Okay, let's let's do some jumping. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Immobilized. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, head bonk. Am I ever gonna win those? Probably not.
He's up to something. I've always wondered why they made this dude the Atomic Boo and not King Boo. Because everyone knows King Boo. Nobody... Really? Nobody knows Atomic Boo. Okay. Um... Okay. That's cool. At least I'm not immobilized. Okay, Mario's getting low on health. Let's see if I can finish this. Yeah, Mario can finish him off now. Twenty-one. That's not bad. It's not bad. And we got a badge. Lucky start. I tried using that in one of my playthroughs before, and it didn't do a whole lot for me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal up. And we're gonna run into a couple more people, so we'll bring Goombella out. You know what, we don't have a tattle on you yet. Alright, what you gotta say, Goombella? That's a boo. It's everyone's favorite ghost. Well, most everyone. Seven hit points, three attacks, zero defense. Nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never mind you what I'd do. Okay. Hammer time. That's cool. Yep. You guys, you guys just do that then. Okay, we'll defend. And we'll jump. Because we can't attack the other dude. Okay, he's gonna go for Mario anyways. That's fine. That's fine. Are you dead. Six experience points. Maybe we'll level up in this episode. I don't I don't know. We'll find out. There's another one. I don't want to mess with him right now. Or these guys. Okay. So there's... A what's his name? Swooper? I think... No. Yeah, Swooper. I think it's Swooper. I can't remember. Swooper! Yeah, I was right. That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway, six hit points, three attacks, your defense. This is, it hangs from the ceiling, so if you can damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. Oh, I do like to whack things. Oh, I don't have power smash anymore. Um, spin jump? Oh, that doesn't need... Really? Maybe I'd be better off. Well, I don't know. Multi balance or power smash? I I just I don't know. How am I supposed to hit the swoopers? Oh, I know how. Okay. I know how. We have to get our good buddy Flurry. Okay, they can stop that. He had an item? Okay. Well, good thing I healed up before this. Um. Mushroom. Mario. Cool. Because why not? Died. 
die. And... Nine. Okay, we're at 60. We used an item, but we got some we got some good experience from that. I'll take it. I'm not gonna fight another though. I wanna make some progress. Smack a tree. Give me the leaf. Okay, then we'll come back later. Get some more leaves. Those are some good leaves. Alright, where's the staircase at? Looks like it's at the far side? No, it's in the middle. Okay, there's a key I think we have to grab on the far side. Okay. And if we go in the middle, then we just fall. I think we need coops. Yeah, we need coops. Come here, coops. Get us that key. Good boy. Alright, back down we go. We're gonna hit the button a couple times. Then progress the steeple. And... One more time. Alright, let's go. Okay. Now we're here, and key, cool, we'll heal up, we'll get Goombella, and we'll climb the stairs. I feel like there's something in this area that I'm missing, there's something I can get, I can't remember. Somebody else, tell me in the comments, is there something there? I just, I can't remember. There's a lot of stuff in this game, I can't remember everything. I can remember that there's 200 booze that come out of that box. But I can't remember if there's an item in that room. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? That's right. All right then, Slick. Fine, yes. I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal, you big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well, you know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Ah. And now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Alright. Boss time. Can't flee. Goombella. Tattle time. Question mark. Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. 40 hit points, 4 attacks, 0 defense. It's apparently really good at transforming itself in other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing is a real jerk. Okay, we're gonna start off with Earth Tremor. One, two, three, four, five. I love this move. It's good. Does a lot of damage. Well, enough. That's right, you fly up there. Okay. Yuck, yuck, yuck. 
I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that slick. How down and dirty of him indeed. Okay. Okay. It's really bothering me that Mario doesn't do near as much damage as Goombella now. But, I mean, on the bright side, the partners do a lot of damage, so that's a good thing. And let's see, 14 health left. If I jump, I'll get it down to 10 and Goombella won't be able to kill it. But if I use Earth Tremor and I get everything right, I'll bring it down to 8 and Goombella can kill it. So we're going to do that. We're going to see if I can push the A button with perfect timing. Can I? Place your bets. So far, so good. And I did it. Cool. I don't really know why that mattered. I could have attacked with Mario afterwards anyways. Oh well. Time to regroup here. So I think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. How do you like them apples? Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! I'm a dang genius. Wait, now he has 10 health. What happened? I'm confused. What happened? Did I miss something? Or does he just immediately get 10 health after transforming? Hold on. What? what? Huh? You beat me? Twenty-one. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Mario looks a little off there. Got a crystal star. Alright guys. See you fast and easy chapter. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Mario defeated the Scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out toward his bright future. Wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. The end. Just kidding. Yep, I am now Shadow Mario. With no partners. Isn't that great? What's my health? 18. Okay. Now we have to go back to the town. I think once we do that, we may just call it an episode. Wee <laughs> yes. This time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Yeah. Vivian, hand me that Goria super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I, I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making my up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or, are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I uh, no, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you were such an idiot. 
Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I, I get punished. That's right, you little twit. So get cracking. Come, Marilyn. Let's leave this useless little fool to her drawer. Go. Alright, off we go. So we're a Shadow Mario, and the sirens are back. What else can happen? Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. Gotta go through the log, which brings us to this tree for some reason. And there, there's one of the flowers. Get away from me. I don't want to fight you. Get through this section. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Stop chasing me. I don't appreciate it. Stop it. They look so happy, though. Guess I can't be too mad at a flower that's smiling at me. Hey, star piece. I need 15 for that badge that I was wanting, I think. Am I stuck? I think I got stuck. Yeah, I think I need 15 for that badge I was wanting in Rootport, so... The more I can find, the merrier. Go away. I don't want to fight these guys without my partners. Because they can do some damage. And I can't do a whole lot. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. He just tore the sky. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now. And hey, you're so popu popular around here, I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So, you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough, either. I am to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. So, uh, we're not actually able to guess his name right now, because, uh, I'm not going to say what the name is, but if you notice, L-M-N-O-Q-R-S, yeah, we have no P. So, uh, we're, we're going to call you, we're going to call you eight. Rangamundo, little buddy. Who'd name their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. You don't even think about running from battle here. No running. So I'd, I actually listened to him the first time I played this game, and I tried to fight him. I tried items, star power, everything. You can't hurt him. You can only run. Okay. You can only run unless that happens. There we go. Ah, that's no fun. Okay, back at the town. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, before we... Okay. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What, what do I do? What do I do? Poor me. Okay, before we do too much else... I think we are going to go ahead and call it an episode, because some things are going to happen, and it's going to take up some time. So, as always everybody, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like the video, tell me in the comments how I'm doing, and subscribe to the channel to see when I put out future content. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, have a good night, bye bye